Well, it's uh, had a very serious impact in terms of Indian public perceptions of Australia. I think both governments have worked hard to uh, quarantine you know, the central aspects of the relationship from the problems arising from the mistreatment of Indian students in Australia. But yeah, it's had a big impact publicly. Well, I mean, it was uh, obviously a complex period. Bear in mind that pictures of those injured and film of uh, one of the attacks were shown constantly 24 hours a day on the Indian news channels. Everybody saw it, uh, everybody saw it as Indian, uh, anti-Indian, um, and so quite clearly action had to be taken to try and counter that view by pointing to what uh, the authorities in Australia were doing, uh, by pointing to the need uh, for uh, warnings to be issued to Indian students, by pointing to the importance of proper policing in Australia, a whole host of issues, and also with bad institutions that have been attracting students, they uh, needed to be, if need be, closed down. Well, it's got a, it's, I think it's a long-term project. You have to increasingly bring Indian opinion makers down to Australia um, to show, you know, the sort of show them the sort of country we actually are. Uh, clearly. Uh, there has to be a much greater duty of care towards Indian students by governments and by institutions. The bad institutions need to be closed down. There should be less automaticity between attending one of these vocational educational institutions and permanent residence because often people are coming not for the education but for the permanent residence. There's a whole host of measures that have to be taken and are being taken.